Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. Now, this is a combination of problems, many, many problems, and you can see them. Whoever the photographer is for the nation, they did something here that maybe you will see what I've seen when I look at the photos, but it's aging. That's a lot of talk that you hear in Barbados about the aging community. So they're aging. And these are people that, that have aged. I have never known what it is to live on two, three, four acres. They all have a jacob jacob way of living. Their houses are so close. If they're talking, the neighbor next door can hear what they're saying. They can smell what they're cooking. It's just all jammed up together. So now, who who took this photo? Who took this photo and decided the editor of the nation saw it and said, okay, let's go with this. But anyhow, they are worried about emergency vehicles getting to them just in case there's an emergency or they're worried about the, well, the emergency vehicle could be an ambulance or the fire truck. Okay, just in case there's a fire. Now, now at this age, at this age where they should be, you know, not worrying so much. They are very worried that, how am I going to get out? This one is a double amputee. This one here. Here. You know, how, how am I going to get out? Someone's going to have to put me in their car to take me to the hospital just in case I get sick. You know, the aging part of it and the, the poverty poverty you know jack up jack up next to each other so they've never ever known anything different never known anything different okay so whoever did this and this is what they have produced this when you see the elderly in these other photos the elderly okay the frail ones and the ones that are double amputees and the ones that you know don't know if they're going or coming and then you see the young you, you put a young person next to them. Th this is what they have produced. Okay. This is what they have produced. Okay. So there's, there's a combination. You see, this is a combination of problems you see in this particular article that the nation put up recently, a couple of days back. But like I said, they, while they focus on emergency vehicles getting to them just in case I've fallen and I can't get up and that kind of stuff, or the house is burning and when it happened in one house, or the whole the whole block is burnt is 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 consumed because it's all all the houses are so close to each other. They that's what they're worried about, and then the government is worrying about the aging community, and then uh, uh, above that is. They're aging poor. They lived poor, were born poor, aged poor. They, they didn't do, they did not do anything to get them out of poverty. They lived in it. They're molded by it. They're dying in it. Okay? They're going to die in it. Okay? Anything you do in your life and every decision you've made in your life places you where you are. Okay? And if you have lived, to be 60, 70, 80, if you have lived to be 50, if you have lived to be 40, 40 years old, and your decision making is not propelling you into a better way of living, a better way of entertaining your palate, eating better foods, and you know, going to the movies and going to to um shows, to, to, to Broadway shows and to, to, to artistic shows and to artwork and to see other people's artwork and to art galleries if you are living on this earth and you have not fixed your situation that you can live to enjoy some some, no, some of the finer things in life it shows that you are making very poor decisions concerning your life you have made very poor decisions concerning your life okay and oh, they say a picture tells thousand a picture paints a thousand words paints a thousand words no this photo and again i don't know who took these photos it was a combination of photos taken on the same street for the same story but this is what they produce in your nation news when i first saw this one i could not understand i thought that maybe they have put this as a prop i thought it was a prop that it wasn't something that was alive and attached to someone and i stared at it i was like 
But why would they do that? Why would they put a prop there next to this person? Lo and behold. Lo and behold. Okay? So, yeah, this is what um, you see in your nation papers. Things that take you aback and you wonder really what you're seeing and what you're listening to or, or, or what you're hearing. These, All of them, all of them are worried about emergency vehicles coming down the street that they've always lived on. The street didn't, didn't, didn't shrink. It did shrink. It's still the same size, still the same size. But now that they're getting older, they and they cannot like run to from from harm or dash away from a situation. Now that they're getting older and they don't have limbs and you know everything is all you know calcified and you know arthritis. This 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 this. You know, now that they have all that going on in their bodies, they're wor they're worried now about oh, is it dangerous? Is it is it a hazard? Is Hunt Street safe? And are we gonna get people to come and get us just in case there's a fire or I are fallen and can't get up? Too late, too late shall be the cry. Too late, too late shall be the cry. Your decisions have placed you just where you are. Every decision, everything you put in your mouth that made your feet and your limbs fall off, made them hard to move on. Got you, you know, I, I got arthritis, I got this. Every decision you have made in your life have placed you where you are, placed your body in the condition it is in. Blame no one but yourself because even if you saw the way your mom and dad lived you can say i don't want that for myself i rebuke that i want better i want better and i'm every step i take is going to be positive and it's going to be a pleasant outcome where i can get better and better and better you know have you know more money on the bank you know you know make sure that you know i have a little room around my house i can plant a garden and maybe have a, a gold and you know have a couple of chickens you have to plant that shit you don't you don't you don't you, you know it's not as though you sit down and wish it or see someone that has it and you you want it from you, you you're gonna look at them and say well what that no you have to plan that shit and you have to work hard and you have to take whatever, whatever classes you need to take so that you can be good at what you want to do to make money and to to deal with people and to communicate with people and to barter with people you know you, you have to be able to do things like that okay you are you are exactly where you've placed yourself this is why you were born you were born to revel and to walk up in poverty this is sherry veronica